<laughs> TCB. I could find. Uh, yeah, so you get multiple O rings. So this one. So you get two O rings. So this one is a 30A, and then this one is the 50A. Thanks for the follow. So you got the two O rings. They're giving you TX stabs. So Asmodeus is Helheim Design, who is the group I runner for this board. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to at Asmode. Um, he can help you out. But yeah, so you'll get a set of AP TX stabilizers. Yeah, TX for free. And then here is the case. Another thing to note is that with the um, with the group buy, you get three plates all included. The board is hot swap, and so you can mix and match if you want, um, or you, not mix and match. You can change it out as you want. Uh, but the three plates are going to be. Let me make sure. So you get. PC, Palm, and Alu. So three plates. PC, Palm, and Alu. But here's the case. So this is one of three colors. This is the Black or Stealth Edition. Let me remove this box. So here's the plates. But here is what the board looks like. My camera is like, where do I focus? <laughs> it doesn't know where to focus. <laughs> okay. But here's the side. Here's the back. Here's the USB port side. Here's the front lip. Here's the top. Can I do a knock test on the case? Yeah. <laughs> but this is the Stealth Edition. So this one is going to be a little bit more expensive than the other two. So of the three colors, you have Frosted Clear and Stealth Edition. Frosted and Clear will start at 310. And then the Stealth Edition will go up to 325. But that's not even the crazy part. Because, you know, I know you guys think like, oh, black glass, like that's pretty cool. But here's the cool thing, is that it is a hot swap keyboard, but this is the first keyboard I've seen with factory mill max. So instead of using like kale sockets, or just like the hot swap sockets in general, this one uses mill max from the factory. So, check it out. All done from the factory. So looking at the PCB, so you do have per key RGB and then you have underglow as well. But this is the back of the PCB. Whoa! You have um physical reset button. Check out that design. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the hot swap sockets popping out. Are they durable? Heard they could be a little tight. Yeah, I would say they're more durable. Um, I would actually prefer to use uh, Mil Max sockets over hot swap sockets, but the only thing is that Mil Maxing by hand takes a little, takes a while, right? And then the backing is also it's just time consuming, right? Um, but yeah, the tolerances are going to be tighter, but it also depends, right? On the socket. Because some of them are pretty tight, some of them are loose, but uh, you can see the back art through the glass, right? So let me show you. So. When it's not lit up, no. Okay, black glass is too thick. Yeah, so I can't see it, but I wasn't sure if maybe once it lit up. 
So this does use an O-ring mount and there's these rivets on the board or rivets on the PCB that I'll show you. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six. And then these are the little bumps to basically keep the PCB from hitting the glass on the back. So you have all of those. Yeah. Really cool PCB. So all of this artwork was designed by Helheim. Yo, what's up, Corey? Do you find the sound from a Max to be much different? Usually, no. How about them supposedly sitting higher than regular hot swap? So, it depends on the hot swap sockets you use because there's definitely different sockets that have like a bigger lip on the front. But looking at these, I don't know if you can see it. But these sit very, very flush on the PCB. So I don't even think it would be noticeable, right? But there's definitely some Milmax sockets that have a bigger lip so that it is noticeable. But with the sockets they use here, it's you're not going to notice it, in my opinion. In terms of sound difference, that's also hard to say because depending on how loose the socket is, I think that affects the sound more because the switches aren't secure. Um, but I don't think there's like a major sound difference. Glass build? Yes. Yes, it is a glass build. So there's two boards, right? So this is the Balder 65, which is going to be sharper corners, but uh, Helheim also ran the Freya 65, which is also 65, but that one has more rounded, and I can show you a comparison of the two. So this is the Freya 65, and as you can see, the sides are more curvy compared to the balders, which is going to be more sharp. Yeah, so you can see that, right? Yeah, so if you prefer the sharper one, this one is actually in group by right now. Yeah, the Freya is pretty. It has a different PCB design that you can see right there. But similar concepts, um, the main difference is uh, either the more curved or the sharp edges. Also, um, also there's a new stealth edition, so the black one. Drop test? No. <laughs> but this is the Freya. I have another Baldur's, but it's frosted. Let me pull that one out. my broom so depending on the one you get so with the black boulders you'll get a black pcb with the frosted and with the pc you'll get a white one And this is the frosted. Pretty nice. So I have all three, technically. Yeah. I'm actually going to be giving away this one on Instagram. Yo, good morning, Rouse. Hello. How are scratches on the non-frosted? On the clear? Hmm. So I brought this to TwitchCon and back, 
had a bunch of people touching it and moving it and lifting it and I don't see any scratches I would say the glass is pretty durable Angel can probably tell you guys more about the durability of the glass but I would say the biggest culprit of this board is that it can be a fingerprint magnet but then you just you just use like glass cleaner right to clean it <laughs> but i i don't know i haven't scratched the board yet but that might be a better question for helheim how scratch resistance this is So let me put this one up. So once again, if you're just joining, we're building the Baldur's, which is in group buy until 420, so April 20th. Starts at $310. You get a factory Momax PCB with all three plates, PC Palm Alu. And then um, you also get TX dabs and two O rings, so 30A and 50A. And then if you want to get the stealth edition, this will be 325 versus the 310. So it is fairly scratch resistant. I'm sure you guys tried hard enough. You could scratch it though. Yeah, so you guys have to realize that it is glass. <laughs> so with glass, you should still be careful, but it's not so fragile that you sneeze on it and it will break. But Curb your expectations and realize that it is still glass, <laughs> but not very, not like as fragile as you would think. Yeah. So let's look at the plates while we're here. So you have palm PC and then you have an alu. No flex cuts from what I see. And this one is the alu plate. We can actually do all three plates because it is hot swap. So here is the alu plate. So here you can see where the rivets go in. And then looking at the PCB layout compatibility. So you can split the left shift. You can do split backspace. Looks like there's ISO support as well. And then you can pick your bottom row. So pretty neat. Cool. Yeah. I think that's the coolest thing is that this is factory Momax. Oh, also, if you have a Freya, this PCB is compatible with it, right? From what I understood. And you can buy these PCBs separate. If you would like. Yeah. Cool. But that is what we are building today. And then we're going to be using these new switches that were sent out to me. Do, 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 do. Thanks for the follow. Also, if you're interested in this root buy, please consider using my discount code, XXW, he had a discount. Thank you, Angel, for giving me a discount code. <laughs> okay, let me find the details for this switch that we're going to be using today. Okay, so these switches we're going to be using are from Moyu Studio. It's their new Wiko uh, Huyo switch. I looped them already. Uh, if you're, if you guys are interested in the switch, I would definitely recommend looping them. Um, whenever I got them, the factory there was factory loop, but it was like not consistent at all. It was like one side would have some, the other side wouldn't. It, it just I would recommend hand looping these, but these are a linear switch. Uh, they have a fifty eight gram spring. They're really cute. No, it's not silent. Cute. 
They come in this container. No, it's just what I put them in. Uh, palm stem, uh, polymer nylon top. Same with the bottom. Yeah. It says mild lubrication, but I would definitely recommend. I would definitely recommend uh, lubing these. But these are what we're going to be using. They come in a really nice box, but... I'm trying to declutter my life, my room. I feel like I have so many keyboard parts that if I don't like immediately <laughs> clean up as I go, it just all starts to like pile up really badly. And so I, it came in a box of three and I took them all out, threw away the boxes and then put them into one container instead of having like a stack of three boxes. Well, some factory loop is pretty good, um, but this one, I did not think it was good. Okay. So we are going to be tuning stabilizers, tuning stops. Let's see, which layout do I want to go? I'm going to do split backspace. I'm a split backspace enjoyer. You do look quite organized, though. I am not. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Oh, yeah. This is my um, Discover Weekly, so it's going to change, but I can share it. There you go. Um, can you use tweezers to adjust Milmax sockets if they become loose? Not if they're already soldered in. If they're soldered in, you would have to heat up the solder and then use tweezers to adjust. Oh, yeah, I've been using this for years. <laughs> this is my steel jeweler's block. It came with TX stabs. It comes with TX stabs. Can you believe it? Comes with? Check DM real quick. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> I didn't post on social media. <laughs> oh, boy. Hold on. Chat gave me so much shit because I use I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about it. You want me to change my mat? You want me to change my mat? Okay, give me a second. What color dust mat? So I use I use body lotion. So I mean not body lotion. I use I use body oil instead of lotion. And so whenever I put it on, sometimes I'm just oily. And the chat gives me shit about it. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me change my dust mat.
Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Try not to break anything while I do this. That would be tragic. Good thing I have two. <laughs> Glass shattered. That would be very tragic. Okay. All right, here we go. This is a Hullheim dust map. I was on the same wavelength as you guys. You can actually buy this. Yes. I got the pink one. It's upside down. Who's upside down? You like it? It's a pink. Okay. Yes, pink. I have the evil eye one too, but I decided to go pink. Because we like pink here. Oh my god, it reflects all the- Oh my god, it shows me! Oh no! How should I do this? Okay. Link. Twitch.tv slash Xing Okay. I... I am posting on social media. And I'll post it on my TikTok too. Oh, I forgot I took this picture. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. 
Sorry, I'm almost done. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Thanks for waiting, everyone. What did I miss in chat? Okay, I didn't miss much. <laughs> I have a Helheim hoodie, but it's too hot to wear. This Texas is just too hot right now. Even though it's technically, what, 60? It's been raining a lot here, though. In Austin. Yo, what's up, Joe? I ran out of meat buns. You know what that means. 7U or 6.25U? Hey, Blue. Mm. I'm actually going to do 6.25. Yes, hello, my musings. Hello. Yes. What do you think? Pretty neat, right? It's a stealth edition. Wait. Let me make sh Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we're fine. Are we fine? Let's see. I'm gonna be using these keycaps. These are also sent out to me, but I thought it would be perfect. Because these are also clear keycaps. Okay, yeah, we have it. I just need to make sure we have the right compatibility. That would be awkward. <laughs> Why don't black stop? All right, mod musings. When to do your X ray keycap come out? I'm gonna get them. <laughs> Leading, yeah. Q2, April, or May? Okay, I look forward to it. You know what would go good with this board? What? It's gonna be an in stock drop, right? Miklon? Miklon is on my altar right now. Beige? You put beige on this? Dracula? Hmm. I really want GMK Symbiote. I'm fiending for it. 
Yeah, we're building a glass keyboard today. I think it looks so good. Joe was like, my symbiote delivered. Yeah, what do you think of it? I haven't opened it. Shake my head. Where is my two five G? Give me one sec. I think I'm running out of loot. What the? Okay, right here. Bingsu? Did you um buy it from Novel Keys? Cherokee Craze, do you have a link? I'm pretty excited. I'm getting sent um, copper keycaps soon. Let me check it out. I don't know if I have a board to put it on, but I'm excited for it. Let's look at this. Oh, ceramic. Ooh. I actually have, um, is Midnight Rainbow on anything? I don't think so. But we're going to use the red keycaps. Do you guys remember Doctor Who Ru? I think it's his birthday today. Is it? Happy birthday, Doctor Who Ru. But um Doctor Who Ru uh was really into like the Korean keyboard scene. And there was uh, these like keycaps that you could only get with like uh, in the Korean scene. And he had a proxy for us. And I was asked if I wanted to join. And it's these like brown keycaps that are supposed to sound like ceramic, but they're not quite ceramic. So it was like the start whenever they were trying like new like keycap materials. And they're really weird. They're really weird keycaps. I'll have to find them. But they're like the only brown keycap set I've ever had. With all brown blanks. But I just remember... Huru would always be like, Yo, the Koreans are doing this weird 
they're trying out this new weird thing you want in. And then somehow I would get invited, but... I don't think I've ever used those keycaps on a build, now that I think about it, and I should. But now you have, like, ceramic, like, actual ceramic, metal keycaps. People are doing, like, blends. I'm kind of excited to see, um... The metal keycaps though apparently some people were asking for raw keycaps like raw metal so they could patina the keycaps over time carbon five a abs pbt one i like i like pbt normally Some people really like the look of patina, but some people just like absolutely despise it. But yeah, the sentiment of like patina just kind of looks like dirty. I think some boards look really good patina, but then some boards, like if you don't do it like properly or artistically, it just ends up looking like yeah, it just looks dirty. <laughs> Hello, Dan. What's up? What is City Walk keycaps? Some of the Knee Deep stuff is pretty good. Is Knee Deep still taking or doing commissions? I've been getting a lot of engraved stuff on my feed. There's this guy in Vietnam who has been like engraving keyboards, like uh, like carving into the alu, and those look really good. Thanks for the follow. Any PC board recommendations? Do you have a budget? I think when I think PC boards, the first thing I think about is tofu. <laughs> Oh, the dust mat. I would love to see a patina copper keyboard, yeah. I'm sure... Copper keyboard. Wasn't there one that Teha built? It's either Teha or Apiary. Zemo? Is that the, um, Mahjong one? Mahjong? Yeah. Who ran that? Mikibo? I want it pre-messy. Auntie Popcorn. We love popcorn. She's great. Yeah, we have an emote named after her. Oh! Ganora Head Thug. Thank you for the Prime. You now have a bunch of cute emotes. Yeah. Kombucha. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Enjoy the emotes and the ad free. Wait, did I say that wrong?
I did not read it like that. I did not read it like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I kill switch. Did good. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry I said your name wrong. <laughs> Who made the emotes? Uh Little Wolf is my emote artist, but it's also like a mix of uh other people as well. I just added one XXW nosebleed. N and the B are capitalized. Check it out. XXW nose bleed. <laughs> it's cute, right? If you look closely, she has a ginkgo leaf on her head that falls off. It's it's kind of small. It's kind of small, so you can't see it, but. I didn't get any bloody noses this winter. That's good. I got a lot. Oh, wait. This is... Yeah, this is my Kirby. I put my rings or, like, loose screws in here. You see, like, the arms? It can hold rings. Potato actually gave this to me. So I have it on my desk. Sometimes chat tells me Kirby can't breathe, so I have to open it. <laughs> Ginkgo cat emotes? Huh? No. <laughs> oh my god, we need to eliminate Teha. I'm just gonna take out Teha. I mean, I guess it's fair because I do have the keycap redemption of Teha, so. XXW Teha Cat. <laughs> you guys want to see the keycap redemption? Here. Hair color is actually redeemed. I'll redeem it for you guys. I'm doing this for free, so make sure you're watching. <laughs> you guys go. And before you guys ask, yes, that was actually Teha. Justin actually redeemed hair color. We're getting purple hair. Have any more plants or Cosmo emotes? Probably not. The Cosmo emotes are all in Discord. It's so funny because the other day, my mom walked into my room when I was in here. I was in my bedroom. This is my office. Um... She walked in to give me fruit, and my mom hates moths, like these like house moths that like eat clothes, she hates them, right? But she noticed that I had like a lot of moths in my room, and she like picked up one of these like mats. It's like a fabric mat, but it, I basically got it from Glendal. It's like a cat, cat mat. She like picked it up. And there was like a, cause there was like a moth on it and she was going to throw it away. And she, I went downstairs to tell her like, oh, thank you for the fruit. And she was just like, 
you have so many moths in your room like there was this mat right by your door that had a moth on it i picked it up and i'm gonna throw it away because i bet they're like about to breed on it it's just like lecturing me about these moths and i was like okay well that's cosmo's bed like that's where he sleeps and then her she like completely mood chain was like oh it's cosmos bed oh okay I, i'm gonna wash it for him <laughs> i'll give it back to him when it's clean like here she is lecturing me and yelling at me about the moths in my room and as soon as i was like sure that's i mean that's cosmos bed she's just like oh i'll wash it for him like he's such a sweet boy like don't worry <laughs> i'm washing clean it for him <laughs> And she loves Cosmo. The other two cats, she's like, whatever, but she has a soft spot for Cosmo. <laughs> it's, it's just, she was just lecturing me about the moths. She got this, like, bug zapper many years ago just so she could, like, zap the moths. Because the moths will, like, breed and, like, eat your clothes. Like, they're not good. She hates them. Sometimes it's bad, too, because, like, a moth will, like, or bugs will fly by ginkgo. And instead of being, like, a normal dog and just being, like, <laughs> like, just, like, trying to, like, move their face, she will chomp. If there's, like, any bugs by her face, she just... Her reaction is to just chomp. So from time to time, we'll just hear... We'll just hear her, like, chomping. And then we know, like, oh, Ginkgo's eating bugs again. Yeah. <laughs> you have reached mothball needing age? Yeah. My Doberman does that randomly. It's probably because there's a bug right by their face. We went to, um, we took Ginkgo out today, and Ginkgo, so Ginkgo is my dog, for those who don't know, Ginkgo doesn't really like other dogs. Like, it's very, very rare for her to like other dogs. Um, so normally when we go out in public, if she sees another dog, she'll probably bark at them, right? Loves humans, but just, like, cannot stand other dogs. Um, so we took her out to walk today and um she took a dump earlier than I thought she would and my thing I was out of bags so I had to walk backwards to grab like the free bags that the park gives and there's this guy walking his dog and as he walked past Ginkgo like she like barked of course she like barked at this guy and his dog instead of just like walking past this guy stops right in front of them for like 20 seconds just looking at Ginkgo while Ginkgo is barking at his dog and his dog is just standing there like what is going on right it was the weirdest thing like this guy just stopped to let Ginkgo bark at his dog and then as I was like far away, but I was like watching it as I was walking back and I was like, what is this guy doing? I thought maybe he was like talking to Connor to be like, maybe like lecturing him about our dog. No, he just stopped in front of them, stared at them for like 20 seconds and then just like pulled his dog away. It was so weird. I don't know what he was doing. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. And so I, I had like theories about why he was doing it, but 
I walked past the guy and I was like, oh, hello. And he just looked at me and walked away. I don't know. I kind of feel like something was up. <laughs> hey, what's up, clown baby? How you doing? I was talking about how this guy just, like, stared at us today. Dumbfound about, like, what is this dog doing? I don't know, like, who stops in front of, like, another dog to let their dog bark at your dog? It was so weird. <laughs> he had a dog, too! I don't, I don't think so. I think if I had to guess, he was maybe going to say something to Connor about it. And he like changed his mind because there, there are people who do that. There's people who will say like, who will lecture you on how you're like handling your dog in public. And so I thought he was about to tell Connor like, Oh, your dog is so aggressive. Like, you shouldn't have her out, right? No, he just stood there and stared at them. Warner's themed artisan keycaps. Artisan keycaps? Like makers, right? Are there any collabs for, like, GMK Norse? Okay. First one we're going to do is we're going to do Alu and we're going to use, I like 30A, so we'll use 30A first. Yeah, his dog was just standing there like, why are we stopped? As Ginkgo was like barking at them and the guy was just looking at Connor <laughs> and Ginkgo. Weird, right? So weird. Imagine not being able to watch XXW Little Baller 65 from Asmo due to being forced to buy ingredients from Costco for Chinese New Year's. I'm sorry, Frank. It's kind of strange though, yeah, right? Frank. XXW on the Costco TV. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <gasps> okay. I would no, don't do that. Let's see this one. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a tight fit. Should be okay though. <laughs> no, don't do that. I made taco rice today. So imagine like a taco salad, but without, um, without like the bowl or like tacos without the, uh, without the shelves. So it's just like the filling and like Spanish rice. Um, and I got really nervous because my mom was like too lazy to cook and I made a lot of extra and she was just like, Oh, I can't eat your taco rice, but I, I get really anxious or nervous when my mom eats my cooking because my mom's a really good cook. So I was just like, are you sure you want to eat it? Are you sure? <gasps> little, little Caesars? Yeah. I like, I like extra sauce on my pizzas. Thank you. 
but yeah today she's just like oh, i'll just eat your taco rice and i was like i i got so nervous that i i made her a bowl and i was like can you taste it first before you decide and if you don't like it i'll order you something else <laughs> she was just like no i like it like it's a vine i was like no can you can you just taste it just in case <laughs> Because my cooking is very different from your cooking. And then she ate it. She's like, no, it's good. I like it. I was like, okay. <laughs> if you're sure. <laughs> I know. I just... I just get, like, self-conscious about it. I do be working the grill at KBBQ sometimes, yeah. When I go to Korean barbecue, I like going with either Frank or Vin. Or Assy, yeah. I like going with friends that will cook for me or order a lot. That's the best. <laughs> Three hours where we go now. Oh, it's all you can eat. Well, that's probably why. Not very SoCal of you. <laughs> Yo, it's amazing. Cap? So you know, so you're okay with waiting as long as you're told ahead of time? Yelp waitlist is more of a thing in like... NorCal, right? We don't do the Yelp waitlist here in Texas, or in Austin at least. They really geolock you? Really? That 
that's an actual thing? I mean, I guess that's smart, but... Wait, you can't check in until you're close by? Really? Devour of GMK trees. <laughs> Meep, you're never gonna live that down. Meep, when are when are you in town next? Fruit and I are going to this place tomorrow where they have brisket. Biscuits. Well, you know how it is. <laughs> Brisket biscuits. Like biscuits with brisket. <laughs> yeah, and it's called briskets. Get the jam one? Okay. Well, you know how it is. I took this out, but maybe I should not have. do it later okay rich thing Hey, what's up, Sandy? I'm assuming that's Sandy. Okay, I would not recommend pulling these out, by the way. Okay, got it back in. Nice. <laughs> no, my cult members aren't eating grass, huh? Joe, what, what are you using right now? Well, 
Hello. <laughs> Everything is dying. What do I have? <clears throat> I have like a thirty seventy. No. Can you guys look at my specs and tell me what I have? I ha I have it listed under my computer specs. Uh, I have a 3080, okay. AMD dis Intel discount? What the? Where's my discount? Oh, gosh. Oop. You're using Meepergon's discount? Oh, okay. Wait, you got an Intel discount? Nice. Okay, next time I'll ask you. Keyboards are expensive, okay? Okay, any good PC people in chat? I think my PC is good, but... Do you guys think I should upgrade anything? These are the... Um, Wikio Fuyu switches. Me by my artisans. What? What? Wait. What digs do you have? Oh my goodness. I don't want to have to think what the...
Yeah, just have a broker. That's what I do. I don't sell my artisans. I have someone doing it for me. Because I get scammed. People try to scam me. Vin is the broker? Actually, it's not even Vin. It's an unknown entity. You guys thought I would tell you who my broker is? No way. Yeah, I have a secret broker. Yeah, what's up, Burbs? Yeah, if you want. I will tell you guys that my broker is based in NorCal, though. But it's not Vin, I promise. You guys have probably met him a few times. No, it's not Insty. Angel, though, it's not Angel. Do you have the Durian set? By chance? What is 1312? What is 1312? Zip code? Zip code's f five numbers, isn't it? GMK Chaos Theory. I think the last GMK set I bought was, uh, Olive. Ouch. Hello, Dye Teeth. All right, verbs, you're drunk. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Wait. 
tan cute tu <laughs> Apple model correct got me tripping <laughs> Okay <laughs> <laughs> Burp's like, oh shit. <laughs> they got me. Okay. So it's O ring, so we're just gonna caught in four K, yeah. <laughs> Gonna push on the side. Grab some tweezers. Wait, before you put it in, okay, what? 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you mentioning that. Let me try it without. Would you. You'd recommend putting it on the front, right? Herbs, are you okay? I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Just a little bit. Good. Okay. All right, chat. Behave. <laughs> I heard a weird sound, but I'm pretty sure it's just Connor RPing or something, so I'm just going to ignore it. Yeah, he's like really into D&D. &D. Oh, I might have made a mistake. 
Oh, that's why I didn't want to do that. This is a split backspace. Does it? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. It does. We're saved. We're saved! Thank goodness. It was just underneath. You like these? Yeah, so these are by this brand, the little lab. And they have a bunch of other like transparent keycaps like this as well. So if you guys are interested, they did actually send this out to me to use, so I picked the red colorway because Chinese New Year's just coming up. Gold glass next? Yeah, you should do pink as well. Pink! Yeah, I really wanted to win the uh, Kohaku. Heck, man. Pinku Ki. True! Uh, can s I'm not sure. You can. Can someone uh, link it for me? Uh, it's L E L E Lab. They have a bunch of different ones, so. Nice. This is going to look really good, I think. The quality of these keycaps aren't bad. I'm just really excited to see how it looks, like, all lit up. Okay, this one is going to be... Arrow keys right here. Oh, they have purple? And they have split backspace with this one. That's what I'm most impressed with right now. Ooh. Ooh. Control. Super. Alt. Oh, dang. They also have. 
the one use. this one and then what home home delete Home and page up, page down. Okay. Ooh. Home and send. Whoa. Okay, nice. Looking good. Hmm, I think it would depend. Because you would need like um like a screw hole, right? So it depends on how they would do that. You probably need some kind of like threading. I think this is gonna blind me. Oh, put your sunglasses on. How much does this weigh? It's pretty hefty. How do you might be front paging? What do you mean? Okay. Three pounds, three point three. Not bad. Hope build goes well be lurking. Okay, have a good lurk. Okay, nice. Whoa. You said as a weapon. <laughs> It's glass. It will shatter. So yeah, it could be a good weapon. You like it? It's pretty, right? Okay, cover your eyes. I'm giving you guys <laughs> warning right now. Cover your eyes before it blasts you guys. <laughs> Ready? Okay. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, flashbang. Be not afraid. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me. Oh, download this JSON. Okay. JSON has been downloaded. Brighter than my future. Load. Downloads. JSON. Here, connect. Lighting. So we do rainbow. Breathing. Swirl. Yeah, they're they're all gonna be red. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You can kind of see the blue purple. Let me try gradient.
twinkle. This is solid color. Yeah, they're a little janky, so we'll just do this. <laughs> yeah, they were a little janky. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, let's listen to how this sounds. So we use the 30A. So we'll do a sound test. This is 30A with alu plate. It's going to be the first sound test for this one. Dear Lord, what's going on? What's wrong, Joe? This hurts. What, this? So bright. It's not even that bright. What the? Are you a vampire? Brighter than your future? Probably. Just put on some sunglasses. You'll be good. Oh, wait. I need to remap it. Right, right, right. Uh, layouts, split backspace. This one we have this and then tilde. Where's my tilde? Tilde, this one is backspace. Supreme vibes? Yeah, a little bit, right? Let's see, are there any good red themes? Strawberry. Our theme? <laughs> McDonald's theme? Modern Ink. Actually, I don't like that one. Metaverse? Oh, actually, perfect. This one's good. Okay, cool. Okay. Let us do a sound test. All right, so this is the Baller 65. It's in group by right now. This is the um, um, the Stealth Edition, the black glass. We're using 30A O-ring with the alu plate. There's no foam in this. Uh, it is O-ring mount. So sorry if you hear the rain.
Okay. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You want to see the side profile? It's right here. If you use F keys on this thing, you have to layer it. Very impressed, yeah. So this is with the alu plate. We have two more plates to go through as well. But this was the first configuration. But in group buy right now, if you're interested, by the way, PP play be too soft for O ring. It might be for the solder or for the hot swap, but I would ask Angel just to be sure. <laughs> okay, so let me look at this real quick just so I can give you guys a description of the keycaps. I mean, one sec. They sent me the product page, so let me open it. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yes, this is the button glass keyboard okay so this is the lila lab um sub sub classic red keycap set it starts at 49.99 um choo -choo -choo -choo. this is super x clear molding clear abs cherry profile uv printed legends moist critical does have a glass keyboard Yes, also from Helheim Design, but we have a few more configurations that we're going to do here. I will link it for you guys. Moist Critical has a keyboard built by Helheim. Yeah, there's a clip, but there's a clip too. Let's see. Okay, so if you guys are interested in, like, different color keycaps for this one, they actually have, like, different colors for the clear, and I'll show you guys right here. So this starts at... This one I have is $49.99, so $50. Um, but they have all different kind of colors, and I thought it would be perfect for this board because it has per key RGB. Yeah, so this is the one that I have. And it is um, UV Printed Legends, Cherry Profile, Clear ABS, and it uses Super X Clear Molding, which I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah. All right, so let's hear what the other configurations are like. So this was with the alu plate, and now we're going to hear what it sounds like with um, PC and Palm. And I have your symbiote, your symbiote if you don't want it. 
<laughs> Joe. <laughs> I think it's pre-order right now. Also, if you guys decide to buy the board, please consider using my discount code. XXW, you get a discount. Please consider buying the board as it is for my good friend Asmood. <laughs> If you have any questions, please ask Asmood as well. <laughs> yes, discount. It starts at 310 for the frosted and clear, and then it's 325 for the stealth edition. You get three plates, TX stabilizers, 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 uh, Factory Milmax PCB. Pretty much what you need are switches and keycaps. I know Asians here discount. They're like, <laughs> buy two, get one free? <laughs> if only, right? I think it's actually 10%. I could be wrong though. <laughs> I mean, I maybe I'm remembering it incorrectly. Angel, please confirm or deny. Ten percent off, yeah. Uh, Angel should have it. Oh, Angel says NC has it. Okay, NC has it. <laughs> Also, XXW Nosebleed and XXW Riot. Those are two new animated emotes I had recently. They're very cute. I'm trying to commission as many new animated emotes as I can to fill up all my slots. So those two I just got and I have a few more on its way. I think that's like, that's like my strange addiction. I love commissioning emotes. Pretty soon I'm just going to uh, have all the emotes in the world. Yeah, he mentioned Helheim. It's a pretty sick board. I got to see it in person. I don't know if he like shows the bottom for a long time, but it's it's so good. I got a little nervous. Lamp. You are the light of my life. Lamp? <laughs> hey. When are we going to that dim sum place? Chicken sandwich, but the buns are pineapple bread. Imagine that. 
Thanks for the rate, though. I appreciate it. Hello, raiders. My name's Patricia, or Xingqing Wong, XXW, Patty. Um, I build keyboards just for funsies, though. <laughs> no, I, I review for vendors and designers, and today we're reviewing the, or we're showcasing the Baldur's for Helheim Design. In group buy right now, three colors, frosted, clear, stealth, which is black, is O-ring mounted. Um, starting at 310, you get all three plates and TX dabs. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Mythic WoW Raider, yeah, I build keyboards and I play lots of games, so... <laughs> I feel like Burbs is a very unconventional hype man. <laughs> okay, so this next one is the PC plate. Yeah, you get all three plates. And the neat thing about this board is that it's factory mill maxed. Cool, right? Factory mill maxed. Yeah, <laughs> putting lamp out of a job. <laughs> yeah, that's the wild thing about it. God, my cats. I just swapped my cats to a new food. And it... Their poos have been absolutely rancid. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I can't breathe right now. Burbs? Well, okay, so here's the thing is that there was like people were reporting that um, their f pet food from um, Purina had like bugs in it, and there hasn't been an official recall, but they're like currently investigating. Um, but it scared me because, like, they're saying that, like, I, I watched a bunch of things on how, like, they're inside the food. So while you see them outside, they're also inside, just like parasites. Um, but Purina is saying that it's not from their factory, but it, it freaked me out because anything I was like, oh god, like, you know, not my animals. So I swapped them to this, like, new food. And it's high protein, but it's just awful. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> they like it, but it it's awful. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh, thank you for the follow. I don't even know what I buy for my cats. What the? Hi, Vin. Rachel Ray? I, um... My cats eat this... It's like Stella and Chewy. Or Stella and something. Rachel Ray is my middle school crush. My middle school crush is Edward Norton. Have you considered manually prepping food? Um, so my mom does that for our dogs. They've been 
living off of it for years. Yeah. I started giving Ginkgo these, like, salmon oil on top of her food. And it just makes her, like, coat so nice. My cat Blue is fucking chill. <laughs> oh my goodness. My dog literally just farted. Why did you bring this up? Any moon tower doves? I want the pink one. I won the pink one, and then I saw on Reddit that someone sold a pink one for sixteen hundred. Was it sixteen? Is either sixteen hundred or thirteen hundred? How much was it, Vin? Thirteen. That's a lot of follows. Those are. Am I being follow botted right now? Oh. I think I am. Yeah, what's up, fruit? Yeah. I actually pointed out the numbers earlier. Which is weird because Siri bot is not working then. I'm going to turn off alerts for a little bit. Are you excited to go? Oh, me. Do you want to go do this art thing afterwards? I'll send it to you. My cousin told me about it. Yeah, I sent it to you. Fruit, I sent you the um, link to the event that we can go to after lunch if you're free. These switches are so pretty. Yeah. Hello. Alright. Be safe, Vin. See you tomorrow. Yeah, be safe. I don't know. Have fun, be safe.
No, we're still doing the briskets. And then we'll do Sway next week with Meeper gone. Right? Yeah. Tomorrow is the briskets, and then next week we can do Sway if you want. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out right now. Oh my god, it's like the... No. This is a um, plate fork. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna just turn this off right now. There. Dang. We're getting view botted and follow botted. Sorry, guys. I don't even know. Oh, wait. It stopped. Oh, it stopped. Nice. To be honest, I'm not even sure how that happens, like... Yo, what's up, Emily? Hello! Be good now? Alright, eat. <laughs> be gone, boss. <laughs> I'm actually about to sign up for a, uh, I don't know if I should do Pilates or bar. I'm leaning towards bar because of Emily, but I have to figure it out. I'm also thinking about doing like aerial yoga. <laughs> Aerial yoga hurts, does it really? Looks fun. Does she like it? I've tried, I've tried yoga where it's like they turn off the AC and you're just sweating the whole time. And that was just like absolutely miserable. I did it three times and I was like, all right, never again. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I gave it three times, okay? I tried it three times and it was like, nah, never mind. <laughs> I went back because my friend bought like the ca the class pass where it's like you buy like a number of classes and you have like sessions and so we just had to like use it all. I mean it wasn't that bad because at least like the people I had a class with like wore deodorant and stuff so yeah it wasn't it wasn't bad. I did. Um, I saw Cookie Curls posted on her Instagram. Oh, oh oops. Um, it depends, because I've been trying to navigate, um, 
like PCOS stuff and I can't really do like high intensity stuff because it causes me to like flare up it's really unfortunate um so like I can't I used to do cycling a lot but I didn't like doing it I just did it because you know it was cardio but um, I actually do like swimming, um, I need to put in the backings for this, I completely forgot earlier. So I do swimming, I also do weightlifting, um, I used to do a lot of yoga, but it depends, because there's like all kinds of different yoga, right? Where's the backings? I didn't put the shims on earlier. But here's the thing is I don't really like sweating. <laughs> like I don't I don't like to Sweat unless it's on purpose. In the sense of like, if I'm going to go sit in the sauna, I know, okay, I'm going to sweat, you know. <laughs> but if I can help it, I'd rather not like sweat a lot. So for example, like, like the hot yoga, I'd rather not do that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. S Wait, from a spin class? So, I don't sweat easily, but I have BO. I'm not like one of those Asians that don't have BO. I do have BO. But I don't sweat easily, so it's not that bad. Man. I sweat so easily I can't. See, I don't. But you know what? I'm not a very hairy person. Like, I don't know. I don't really get, like, leg hair, which is kind of a blessing. <laughs> Call down. <laughs> I'm sweaty and stinky. You're tall, that's true. Apparently Lamp looks like Joji, but... I can see it. I could see them being like distant cousins. Brothers? No. Y'all must have eyes. <laughs> I saw Joji in concert and like all these young girls were like thirsting after him. I saw Joji with a mullet in his body, and I was like, Joji looks like my dad. <laughs> and all these girls are like, oh my god, like, things I would do to Joji, and I'm like, no.
Yeah, not the half and half. Send us a full face selfie. Unless you gotta pay for those, then. Sorry. Sorry, chat. <laughs> What's the that's when you can use the nosebleed emote? Thank goodness for Lim. <laughs> I don't know. Aranish just said thank goodness for Lamp. And there goes Joe thirsting after Aranish. I think one of the one of my core memories of Aranish is going to be where we were both on the train in New York and like he was obviously food comaing and then I was obviously just potatoing and <laughs> he was trying his hardest not to fall asleep, but we are both like falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was he was trying not to fall asleep, so we weren't both like passed out on the train. <laughs> so you could see him like try to stay awake, cause like I passed out, like I was just like, <laughs> no regard for my own safety. I was just like straight up passed out, and then woke up finally, and then you could tell he's like trying to stay awake. <gasps> Dang, nice hat. Girlfriend made it for you nice. Looks good. KW. What would you. Purple Austin? Purple Austin's like a dark one, right? She measured my big ass. <laughs> you know what's funny is that whenever I do face masks with Connor, it like face. It like fits my face perfectly, but then. <laughs> When you put it on his, it's just like his big ass face and a tiny mask. <laughs> it just looks so funny on him. JK. Oh. I've been using uh Tretinoin. I've been calling it tretinol, but apparently it's like tretinoin. And the things it has done for my face, look. Okay, look. No, no foundation, no concealer. I have blush on, but look at that. It's actually cleared up my bottom. Yeah. Look. 
like my forehead is like healing but yeah so i did it through nurse x and it was um like 60 dollars for three months a three month supply really easy uh to do and i just put on like a little bit but look my skin texture has improved dramatically yeah i didn't put any kind of foundation like you can kind of tell like there's still like some texture right here but you know i would recommend it n-u-r-x n-u-r-x you can get skincare products for them you can also get birth control from them which is what i use as well um i use them for birth control and they prescribed the cream for me okay so there's a purging period though so for anyone who's about to start there is a bit of a purging period so for example like i broke out a lot right here and like right here but once you um once you get past like the purging period oh and i was like dry right here but once i got past it i would highly recommend it especially like if you're in your upper like 20s or 30s yeah it's been really good for my skin and i'm someone who suffers really badly from like hormonal acne and all this jazz It was really easy. The process, it was basically like take a picture of your face from the front and the sides and good lighting, like no makeup, clean face. And then they like prescribe whatever they think and they just send it straight to you. It's also got rid of like a lot of my, um, I used to have like acne scars right here and a little bit right here. Yeah, it's it's great to try on your armpits ain't nobody looking at my armpits but me okay <laughs> you like these these are uh this one i hope these are the keycaps But yeah, it was like $60 for a three month supply. You just send them pictures of your face. They prescribe it for you. Um, bit of a purging period, but once your skin like gets used to it, um, it's really nice. I recommend, especially if this is like first time using like treatment like this, like mixing it with your uh, lotion. But basically what I do is I wash my face, make sure it's dried, and then I put on my lotion dollops, and then I get a little bit, like, just like a pea size, and then I put it on my lotion dollops, and then I mix it together. And then I do it for my neck as well. I'm, like, pretty self-conscious about my necklines, um, because I'm, I was definitely, like, a chronic, uh, Cap, you showed it to chat. What? My necklines? <laughs> Are you okay, Alvo? But yeah, I, I use it for my neck as well. Okay, cool. So this is... Do you have like a caffeine headache? This is still at 30A, but this is with PC plate. PC plate. Okay.
Okay, so this is Baldur 65 uh, video switches, uh, but this one is a 30A O ring with a PC plate. So I think so far I like the PC plate the most compared to the Alu, but we'll we'll see how Palm sounds. Um, we'll see if that like um, sounds any different. Okay. Palm is your favorite. Yeah, we'll see how Palm sounds. I'm like thinking about a chicken panini sandwich right now. That sounds so good. Also, you guys noticed during that type test, for some reason, that one word public just like hecked me up. ring struggles there's like tabs like like there's a tab right here that i could pull on but i'm just trying to i'm just being lazy Root! Oh my gosh, root. Uh, do we have any other streamers building this board, Angel? Tim built his yesterday, right? Has Alex built his yet? I 
I see. debating if I should even eat like a big meal after this or if I just go to sleep early because we're getting brisket biscuits tomorrow. <laughs> Small snack and sleep eat big. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate contrast answers. I have a... I made pesto pasta yesterday. Eat's always the answer. Yeah. I sleep... I sleep so well when I like food coma. <laughs> I know it's like terrible for you, but... I'm honestly my happiest <laughs> when I food coma. Oh, Kiko is next to me. She's probably protecting me. Making sure no one bothers me. That's my baby girl. Keeps me safe. Your Dobermans? Palm PC Alu. If you want, like, a familiar... Shibas are notorious for um, having, like, one owner that they attach themselves to. Also, this is the wrong spot. D X C D. It's right here. No pee pee play. Yeah, unfortunately not. Are you releasing the plate files, Angel? If people wanted to get it. Nice. There you have it. If you wanted to get a pee pee plate.
<laughs> Off. Now that you have soup, man, soup sounds so good right now. I'll eat after this. I feel like Joe is just trying to taunt me Bergon at this moment, or uh, at this point. Hi, Kuppo. What's for dinner? I might just eat leftover pesto pasta. No max PCB, three plays, TX stabs. Yep, yep, yep. You're in Austin? Kapo, do you want to go get brisket biscuits? Tomorrow? <gasps> I can't! No! My mom bring her. <laughs> Maybe one day. Did you see the nosebleed emote? We are doing the last plate. How long have I been streaming? Three hours, dang. This stream has kind of zoomed by, huh? Another six hours? I could. I have the stamina to stream for a long time. But 
even if I have the stamina to stream for that long, I doubt chat has the stamina to stay awake for that long. I'll be here. <laughs> Voting for our. I'll do a subathon soon. Oh, so speaking of subathon, the qualifications for the plus program started this month. Um, so there's that. Naturally, I qualify for the tier one, but, um... How do I say this? Basically, these next three months, it helps me out if, um, you would consider subbing uh not using oh how to god it's, it feels so bad to say but basically the qualifications is that it has to be a paid sub so prime and gifted don't count and then the higher tier sub you sub with um counts more towards it so So how do I say this? Basically, like, if you're thinking about, like, gifting this month, yeah, sub with, well, that's a, I feel bad saying that because, like, some people can only sub with Prime, you know? So if, if it's within your means for this next three months, Please consider, like, a tier 1 sub, or tier 2 or tier 3 for 3 months. It- I- it feels weird saying it. Well, Prime is still good, but for what we're trying to do, it's a paid sub helps me out more. And it's not, it's not for forever. It's like, just so we can qualify for the plus program. And we already do for the first tier. Um, but for the second tier, it's a bit more. So what I'm trying to say is that if you can, and if it's within your means, and if you want to, please consider subbing for three months. <laughs> like do the bulk subscription just for the three months. I think you end up saving a little bit money of money if you do it like that. But just like securing the three month goal is like nice, I guess. And it's only a push for this three months because after you hit it, then you get it for an entire year. Three months at two, three or you're banned. No. It's just... 
if if I get the cut from 60 to 40, that already just helps me out so much. And I'm able to basically continue doing this, like continue streaming, and I feel more secure, you know? It's just, it's just a huge jump, you know? But only if you can, and if you want to. But basically, if you like what I'm doing here, and you would like to support me, that is the best way to do it right now for the next three months. February. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we can even unlock another tier of our emotes. Like, I think our next goal is what? It's something crazy. Our next emote slot is 1500. And you don't even get a standard emote slot. You get one more animated emote slot. So we have to get to 1500 sub points and you, we would just get one animated emo slot. <laughs> the prime sub split, yeah. Let's see that. It's like a fixed rate based on where you're from instead of like the standard half and half. That's like the biggest change, but um, I have 13% of my revenue is from prime subs. It just, ugh, just feels weird to ask, like, please consider subbing tier 3 for 3 months. Because <laughs> how much is that? That's a lot of money to ask for. That's what? 75? But there's a discount, right? Yeah, you get a discount if you do it months in advance. Yeah. I feel like doing this way took a lot longer than just like doing the switches and keycaps individually. <laughs> what do you guys think? It 
Is it only for the tier one? I thought it was for all like months in advance. Okay. You know what I've noticed? If I'm listening to music, I talk less. Because then I end up listening to the music and not talking. I've just been listening to the song. Oh, wait, I didn't put the o ring. The music? Yeah, I'm just like jamming out to it. Okay. My playlist has been on repeat. Alright, so let's listen to how this one sounds. Give me one sec. Okay, so this is, um, with pump plate, it's still the 38 O-ring.
Was that a bad message? I wasn't really sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> unfortunate. Okay. All right. But that is the board. So we did, um, we did three configurations. So we did Alu first, and then we did PC, and then this one is Palm. Um, and then we just stuck, I just stuck with the 38 O-ring because I like softer. So, yeah. So let's look at it. I don't even know what it said, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here's the top. You like it, Interloper? Here's a side. Here's the back. USB port. And then here is the front. So let's see what this looks like. I'm not sure if you can see the artwork. So you can't see the artwork, but you can see the lights. Neat. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Angel's goaded, for sure. Okay, so let's talk the details about it. So... Oh. Holy. Holy. Why am I getting follow botted again? Jeez. I feel like follow botting is like something someone has to do to you, right? Jeez. You think someone is follow botting me? Jeez. Most definitely, dang. Ah, it is what it is. But let's just talk about the board. So I'm gonna pull up the product page so you guys can all see the three things that we use today. Okay, so this is a group buy right now. This is what the product page looks like. As you can see, you have the frosted, the clear, and the stealth edition, which is the black, which is what I built today. Um, starts at 310, 310, goes up to 325. So the descriptions you can find right here. So O-ring mounted 65%. You know, five low iron glass pieces melted together to make one solid piece of glass. Let's see. So group by ends on 420. <laughs> Estimated shipping date is Q4 2024. You get, so here's all the case specifications. But yeah, it does have ANSI and ISO. You can do 7U, 6.25. You can also do split backspace and split left shift. And the kit, um, you get the case, you get the factory Milmax PCB. Um, you get TX AP stabs, three plates, PC, palm, alu, microfiber cloth. You get eight mounting rivets, and then you get two O-rings of different duros, so you get a 50A and a 30A. Are the rivets going to be pre-installed, Angel? They were pre-installed in my board, but I was just wondering, are they going to be pre-installed in the group by units? But the rivets are basically, they go into the, um, I guess you can't see it, but they go, 
uh, underneath the PCB so that the PCB doesn't touch the bottom. Okay, yeah, so the rivets will not be pre-installed, but I guess the holes will be made bigger so it's easier to install. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, you can buy the... Oh, yeah. So you can buy the PCB separate, the um, Factory Mill Max PCB, and that will also work in the Freya. So there's a Baldur 65, and then there's a Freya. Uh, the Freya has concluded, but... The Freya, the biggest difference between like the Freya and the Balder is that this has like the rounded sides and then the Balder has the more straight, uh, sharp corners. Do, do, do. Yeah, there was this, but the Balder PCB does work with, um, the Freya PCB. So that was the case in group by right now. Oh, frick, I forgot to turn this off. And then the switches we used today, uh, these were the switches we used today. These were the Fuyu switches, they were sent out to me. If you liked how they sounded, these are the ones that I used. They're a very cute and pretty switch. It looks like they will be available sometime around February. And then if you like the keycaps that we used, it was by this brand, Lila Labs. And these are the translucent reds, but they have like different colors. Um, like, let me plug this in so you guys can see. But yeah, they have like the clear colors, they have like the white. So this is the red one. They have the all whites. I have some non-translucent ones as well, but these are the ones that I use today. In case you guys are interested. But yeah, so those are the three products that we used. All there being the main focus, but yeah. I will actually be giving away my um, frosted unit on Instagram. I'm going to keep the black one for myself, sorry. <laughs> but I will be giving away a Frosted Edition. So if you're on Instagram, that will be sometime this week. Um, claim? You can't claim it. You haven't entered it yet. <laughs> claim. Claim. Yeah, but uh, I would recommend joining Helheim's Discord if you want more information. And I will get you all the link right now. Let's see. Give me, give me. Can I enter it? Yeah, sure. The share. Do, 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 do. Create invite. So I would recommend joining the Discord in case you have any questions or if you're going to join the group by, that's where you can get all your updates. Do, 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 do. If you win, you give away two. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, that is the board. Really, really neat. So, glass keyboards are interesting to me, right? It. I feel like sometimes they're in the same realm as like wooden keyboards, and you would think that you know. Glass keyboards might sound really pingy or like hollow, but it's not the case with this one at all, From at least from my configuration. And I really do like the black glass. I think that's nice. I know some people might be a little iffy because they're like, oh, it's glass. I mean, with glass, you should still be careful, but um, from what I could tell, um, this is pretty durable. My biggest critique of this board, though, is that it's a fingerprint magnet, but that's a me problem, so... <laughs> that's a me problem. I just have fingerprinting hands. But at least it's easy to clean, and you'll be getting a cloth to clean it with. But... 
overall, if you like bling bling cases, this is certainly very bling bling. Body oil, stop. Well, you know what? I will actually... We can actually make a command and we can link my body... My body oil. It's really nice. I like it a lot. This song is called, Am I Gonna Die? <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested in buying this board, or this dust mat too, um, you can use code XXW. You get a discount. Can Glass get Patina? No. <laughs> I don't think so. What was I going to look up? Oh, yes. Hold on. What is this? No, that's not good. I would not recommend that. Sorry. <laughs> this is the one I would recommend. I've bought this three times. That's how good it is. Are we getting a Black Freya? Oh yeah, you want to give us some leaks? But thank you, Asmode, for sending it out to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Send me out two! So I'm going to give away one. I'm keeping this one, though. <laughs> Drop test? No. Do we have any leaks before we conclude tonight's stream? Just scrape it on my scout. Oh my god. Instigator, no. Gross. <laughs> god. Hmm. I know. We're all questioning Insty right now. Oh, CG Buen, thank you for the raid. Not a crazy league, we're still working on TKL and prototyping right now. I appreciate it. We actually just finished it. We've been getting follow botted, which is why I'm planning on ending because someone is follow botting me. They view botted me earlier. Big ol' raid. Oh, yes. These keycaps are the Lilla Lab Sub Sub Classic Red Keycap Set. They start, or they sell for $49.99, so $50. Yeah, well, the thing's like, you can get banned for follow botting or view botting, so. It's usually safer to just end. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. So this is, um, this is ABS. It is Super X Clear Molding, Clear ABS, Cherry Profile, and these are UV printed. Yeah, you can get banned for it. Um, but check it out. Pretty crisp. Does it come with a 6U space bar? It does not. But it does have split backspace. Legends raised. Like, are they textured? Yeah, they're textured. You can feel them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so I picked these for this build, especially if you have perky RGB. Because look. Ooh, and they have different colors too. So let me show you all. 
So they have this one as well. Alright, have fun at the concert. See you later. Yeah, so they have blinks. They also have UV printed. But yeah, they are out of a lot of the colors. But it's really nice. At least for the price point. Um, yeah, I do like them. I like those keycap sets, yeah. I thought it looked really good with the board. So that's why I paired it with them. There was another translucent keycaps that I bought from Vala. But I didn't really like them. They didn't have the compatibility I was looking for. Okay, Avo, I hope you feel better. The iceberg. I did not like the iceberg ones. Freaking Abrig, oh no. Now, Avo. <gasps> what the okay sorry yeah unfortunately I'm going to end early just because I keep getting follow botted and since that's something you can get banned for uh, I'm just gonna end before it gets any worse um I know, sucks, right? Can I come, baby? But thank you all for watching. Thanks again, Angel, for sending me out the board. The giveaway will be sometime this week on my Instagram. Uh, let me find someone to raid real quick. <laughs>